Welcome. Hi, my name is Kelly, and this is Maxwell. Come here, Maxwell. Hold on. So, welcome. Thank you for showing up for this video. Live streaming in Brentwood, Tennessee. Welcome. This is a, cl a cl class that's designed thinking about cross-training um, to combine stability and mobility. So set up your mat so you can see your screen well, and let's get started. All right. If you have music, you can put on, play, turn on some music. Uh, come to your mats and we'll get started. Good morning, Melissa. Good morning, Kim. All right. I th there we go. All right. So let's um Come onto your back, have a block. We're five minutes late, it's okay. Lower down, reach your arms overhead and stretch. Oh, nice. Bring your legs up, place your palms on the floor, extend your legs up straight. We'll get started right away by scissoring your legs like this. So you don't have to, well, first of all, press your lower back into the floor. <laughs> the back of your head is flat on the floor. So scissor your legs. Start with just, you know, a small range of motion. And then you can open up a little bit larger angle as you warm up the, the core warming up the body. Now bend your knees and tap your toes to the floor just where they land. So not really reaching, but just pointing the toes down and tap. And here's, here's your main point. You wanna press your lower back into the floor right there. So you're actually feeling the contraction below the navel as you're transverse abdominis muscles. So keep that contraction. And as you tap the toes, reach a little farther away and just see how far you can reach the toes tapping the floor with your lower back on the floor. So staying present with that idea of warming up the core, drawing the lower back into the mat as you tap and reach the toes farther away. Do it four more times. Three, two, and then one. Good, now place your feet on the floor, palms on the mat. Have your feet at the edge of the mat so your feet are wide and tip the knees over to the sides, both directions. Or both sides. <laughs> then tip your knees over to one side. Start rolling over, keep rolling, keep rolling, and push up to a seated position. Hi, Maxwell. I see your chicken. Come on to your hands and your knees. I know you want to play. I can't play right now, okay? We got to do some yoga, all right? Here we go. So come up onto your hands and your knees and separate your fingers. Put the top of your feet on the floor and lower 
your belly down towards the mat and look forward, press into the floor. And then round your back into cat pose. Really tuck the pelvis right there. There's your transverse abdominus muscles right there contracting, tilting your pel pelvis. And then lower down, reaching your sitting bones up, tilting them up. And then round under again. Let's do that four times. So lowering down, there's cow pose or camel pose. And then round your back into cat pose. Press into your hands. Spread your fingers. Do that again. Lower down. Inhale. Exhale, round your spine. Inhale. Lower your belly towards the mat. Look forward. And then exhale, round up. And then one more time. Inhale. And exhale. Neutral spine. Reach your left arm straight out and reach your right leg back straight. Extension of that leg, so straight leg. And you want to pull in your abs of and think about leveling your hips. Don't lift up the right hip. If you intentionally point or think point the toes towards the floor and lift the thigh towards the ceiling, but abs contracted. Don't let the leg too high. It should be parallel or the same height as your body. Same thing with your arm. So from your fingertips to your heel on the other side is a straight line. Taking a deep breath in. Exhale that out and set that down. Let's do the other side. Set your knee down and reach your right arm first. Stabilize right here, pressing into your fingers and then extend out your left leg. Hip points are level. You can press your right foot into the floor for stability. Your toes point down and then reach that thigh just up towards the ceiling, abs contracted. Good, now set your hand down. Extend the left arm, reach the right leg back. Bring your, your elbow in and touch your knee. So rounding your back right there, touch and then reach. So think about mobility, your range of motion right here. Touch the elbow to your knee. If you can't do that, then you'll bring your hand and touch your thigh, right on the top of the thigh, and look at your leg, and extend forward with the arm and extend back with the leg. Do that again two more times, whether you're touching the thigh or bring your elbow into the thigh. Reach, set your hand down, and set your knee down. Extend your left leg back, reach the right arm. Really reach strongly, abs contracted, just like we were before when we just held the pose static. Now let's dynamically move the body, elbow to your knee, and then reach. Tap the thigh if you need to, but if you have the range of motion, as you pull the elbow in and the knee in, touch the two together. Round your back right there. And then one more time. Touch and then reach. Excellent. Hand to the floor. Extend your right leg back. Stretch the leg away from you. Push into the floor. Look over the side. Hello. What's going on over there? All right. Okay, so now you're just going to sweep your leg in. Put your right foot on the floor for gate pose. So reach with the palm on the floor. Arm up and over your ear. Open your body. Press your foot into the floor right here or tuck the toes. Reach up. Place your hand down. And look at the mat and changing sides. Extend the left leg back straight. Press into the floor. And then you're going to pivot and reach the left arm up and over your ear. Press into the floor. Look down for a moment. Breathe in and breathe out. And then place the hand on the floor. Good. All right. So now walk your hands forward. A good handprint. We're going to lift up into downward facing dog. 
Inhale up. Lift your right leg up to the sky. And then look forward before you bring your leg in. Look forward, then bring your foot in. Place it beside or right between your hands. Set your knee down. So let's warm up the hips and the trunk. Bring your hands to your thigh. Lift up, reach the arms up. And look up at your hands. Exhale. Cactus the arms and bring your elbows in towards each other. And then open. So stretching the upper back and then stretching your chest. And then do that again. So elbows bent, bring them towards each other, and then bring the elbows apart, and really bring it back, pinching your blades towards each other, but then lower the blades down. Inhale, or exhale, and then inhale. Place your hands on the floor. Now straighten your forward leg, flex your foot. Press your forward heel into the floor. Hamstring stretch. Good, now set your foot down, press into the floor. We're gonna bring that leg back, downward facing dog. Left leg up, inhale, left foot forward. Set your knee down. Slowly bring your body up, place your hand on your thigh for balance. You wanna draw this hip under, this knee over your ankle. That's important, inhale, reach your arms up. Bring them out to the sides, and again, elbows towards each other, palms together, and then open up. So here, stretching that upper back, and then open up chest. Good. Open up, and then exhale one more time, and exhale, hands to the mat. Flex your foot in the front. Press into the forward heel. Draw under your right hip. Flatten your back. Lift your heart. Inhale. Exhale. Look forward. And then set your foot down. Hands on the floor. Downward facing dog. Bring that leg back. So your heels up off of the mat. Reach your right heel towards the floor. And then lift. And then the left heel towards the floor. And then lift. Look forward and start to walk your feet to your hands. Once you get to the top of your mat, reach your hands for the floor, bend your knees so that your the top so that your ribs touch the thighs. And then start to reach that head, the crown of the head towards the floor, stretching your legs out as much as you can. Try to straighten the legs if you can. Get a deep fold right here. Hands on your feet, on your blocks, your shins, or on the floor. So the head is all the way down, looking through the legs. Lengthen your head forward, and go ahead and press into your feet and stand tall. Sun salutation A. Well, let's do that one time. Exhale, fold over. So reaching your chest down like you're swan diving over. Lengthen the body. Half lift, exhale, punch your hands, step to plank. Shift forward, lower down. Upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. So in downward facing dog, you wanna have some length. And you can check out the space of your downward facing dog, your hands to your feet. Shifting forward into plank. If you have to wiggle your feet, then you are too short in your downward facing dog. So push into the floor. Just look between the thumbs. Don't move your hands and don't move your feet. Lift your hips. And this is an important point because you want to have space for the lumbar spine. If your feet are too close to your hands, it, there's just not enough space. And so to have the hips comfortable, have your downward facing dog lengthened and then tilt the pelvis or the, the sitting bones up, but then abs contracted. So it's a slight um, tilt in so that you're engaging your core muscles. Lift your right leg up, coming into lunge pose or crescent lunge. 
Bring your thigh in towards your belly, then shift forward. Look between your hands. Where is your foot going to go? Place it. Keep the heel up in the back. Inhale and reach your arms to the sides, and then all the way up. Inhale. Bring your hands to your heart. Shift your chest forward, then elbow to the outside of your leg for a twisted, twisting crescent pose or revolved crescent pose. Good, inhale, reach your arms up. We're gonna balance on the right leg. Sweep your hands to your sides. This helps with balance. Abs in, press into the right foot, lift up your left leg. Warrior three. Now bend both knees, tap down if you need to, and round your back, and then extend that leg. So repeating that movement, strengthening the right leg. So a little conditioning here, round, and then extend. Or bend the knees, and you're kind of rounding your back, bend your elbows, and then extend. Do that one more time. Inhale or exhale and then extend, straighten the leg, set your foot down, crescent pose, inhale, and then open up warrior two. Reverse warrior, straighten your forward leg. Don't lock the forward knee, but just straighten the leg, press into the ball of your foot up there and the toes, and then you wanna anchor into this back leg, this back foot. All right, so now reach your right arm and bring your hand down, triangle pose. Reach the left arm up and over and then bring it around. So make this rotation a few times and reach the hand down for, you can use your block right here. I told you to get a block or a book. So like this, reach up and over. Draw your shoulder back, abs in, then hold the arm up straight and then bring it over the ear. Triangle pose, inhaling and exhaling. Good, now reach back, warrior two. Bend your forward knee, hands to the mat. And let's go through a vinyasa or you can go to downward dog. So hands on the floor, extend the leg back, shift forward, lower down, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale back, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Look back, see your toes back there. Don't lift the leg so high that you can't see your toes. Then bend your knee, bring the thigh in, shift forward. Where's your foot going? Place it on the floor. Crescent pose. Inhale, so set up, press into your feet, reach the arms up and back. Good, hands to your heart. Shift your body forward, elbow to the outside of your leg. Lengthen the body, press the elbow into the outside of your leg. Knee over ankle, straighten the back leg. Hands to your heart, look up. Good, now untwist. Inhale, reach your arms to your sides. Here's where you're gonna balance on the left leg. Lift up, balance. So straighten the leg, reach your arms, abs in, contracted. Beautiful. Now bend both knees, so your knees come side by side and bend your elbows, hands in the front of your chest, and then extend. Do that again. Round, so practicing balancing, a little conditioning going on here. If you need to, you can set your toes down and slide your foot along the floor to keep balance, otherwise, Stay right here, do that one more time. And then extension of the leg, foot to the floor. Get your balance, set your heel down, warrior two. Look over the front hand, lift your waistline. And then reverse warrior. Straighten your forward leg, coming to triangle pose. You can use your block if you have a block or a book. Reaching forward, bring your hand down, grab your block, take that time. So hand on the block or you can place it on your shin. Reach the right arm up and over, reach. Try not to put too much weight on the hand on the surface. Use your legs strengthening to hold your balance and reach up and over. Now hold your arm up, 
then hold it over the ear, take a breath in, then bend your knee in the front, left knee, warrior two, hands to the mat, place the block out, away, go through a vinyasa or downward facing dog, shift and lower, lift up through, exhale back, downward facing dog, breathe. Inhale, reach your right leg up. And then bend your knee, bring the leg in, step your foot forward, coming to warrior one. Find your block, have your block available. Set your left heel down at an angle, or foot at an angle. Keep the forward knee bent, lift up, warrior one. So you're looking forward. Good, now straighten your forward leg, reach your hands, forward, bring your hands to your hips, actually. So flat back, leaning forward, coming into revolved triangle. So you can start with your hand on the inside of your foot. So out away from the foot just a bit for balance, and then you'll draw this right hip down and under, reach the right arm up, or a little more, a little harder, place the block on the outside of the ankle and keep pressing in your hand, reaching the opposite arm. Breathe, draw back that right hip and draw it under, abs in, inhaling and exhaling. Good, now look down at the floor, hands to the floor. Set your knee on the mat, similar to the beginning of class, inhale, reach up, crescent or low lunge position, shift the hips forward, then reach the hands down, hamstring stretch. Again, press into this foot. So you're engaging the hamstring as you're stretching it. Good. Now let's go to downward facing dog. If you want to, you can go and you can do a vinyasa. We'll do the other side. So downward facing dog or vinyasa. Exhale back. You went through your vinyasa. Inhale, left leg up. So left foot forward, warrior one. Step your foot in, set your right heel down. Make sure your block is available. Inhale, knee in the front, over your ankle. Lift the arch in the back foot. Looking forward, draw your shoulders. So that left shoulder back, right shoulder kind of forward. Squaring your shoulders to the front. Then pull back that left hip, knee over your ankle. Straighten your forward leg, bring your hands to your hips. And then with the flat back, lean forward, coming to revolve triangle. Bring your hand to your block on the outside, right? So that's, if it's farther away, of course you have more stability, more balance. If it's further in, closer in, it's harder. Straighten the forward leg, don't lock your knit leg. Then pull your, you can use your thumb, pull this hip back and roll it under. And then if possible, if you wanna take this further, hand on the outside of your ankle. Press into the hand and reach the left arm up, inhaling and exhaling. Excellent, place your hand on the floor. Bring that block on the in oh, away from the foot and let's place the hands on the floor and bring your knee down inhale reach your arms up low lunge position exhale your hands to the floor flex your foot in the front press your heel into the mat excellent now put your foot on the floor hands on either side push into the mat downward facing dog lift that foot up Leg comes back, reaching the sitting bones toward, to the rear of the room, the thighs, and press into the floor, move the shoulders away from the ears, retracting the shoulder blades. Now look forward between the thumbs, step into your hands. Then bend your knees, sit behind your heels. Try to do that without touching the floor. And then extend your legs out straight, reach up, inhale. And then we're gonna, so slowly 
Lower down on the floor. Inhale, reach your arms up. Place your feet beside your glutes. So bring the heels in closer, right? Then lift up your hips and reach the hands beside your body. Lift. So let's do that a few times. So a little more conditioning. Exhale up. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Mobility, abs contracting, mobility in the, the flexors, the front of the body, and strengthening, conditioning the back of your body. Inhale. One more time. Exhale. Inhale. Great. Now bring the arms to your side so you stretch the chest. Feet out to the edges of the mat. Tip the knees side to side. Then place your right ankle on your left knee. Reach your hands through and grab the hamstring. Pull that leg in. So you're briefly stretching the hip. Flex your feet. Supine pigeon pose, one of the best stretches for your hips. Now use your hand and press the knee away. The right knee. Flex your feet. Pull that leg in. Inhaling and exhaling. Breathe in and breathe out. Now let's change sides. Opposite ankle on the, so left ankle on your right knee. Position it so it's not, the bone isn't on top of the leg. Then reach your hands through, grab around the hamstring and pull that leg in, press the knee away. Breathe in, breathe out. Take a deep breath in and breathe out. Great, now release and roll over to the side. Keep rolling, keep rolling and lift all the way up. And sitting well, inhale, reach your arms up. Bring the hands to the third eye, the mind's eye and thanks and gratitude and then the hands to the heart. And I appreciate you being here and for showing up for this session. I bow my practice to you. Namaste. Thank you. Have a great rest of your morning. Join me for the longer segment at 8.30, Yoga Fit. We'll do more conditioning in that session and have a great day. Thank you, bye.